All right, what's up, y'all? Okay, Central here. Back at it yet again with another Kingdom Hearts discussion video for you guys today. Well, I guess I call this more of an opinion piece, I guess. But anyways, yeah, this video may be a bit controversial right here. I don't know. I expect there to be some dislikes on this video. I don't see many other people having this viewpoint right here. But this is just something that me and some other people have noticed, combining it with some recent news that has come out about the future of Kingdom Hearts. You know, I've been kind of thinking about it over the past couple days and kind of realizing how this might be a big problem for the next Kingdom Hearts game and the rest of the Kingdom Hearts games going forward if they're going down this path. And I just kind of want to share this viewpoint with you guys because I think this might negatively impact the future of the Kingdom Hearts series. Also, of course, this is just my opinion. This is just how I see it, my viewpoint on this situation. You can think however you want about this. There's no right or wrong answer to this, I guess. You know, this is just how I see it, you know what I mean? But yeah, let's just get into it. So. Kingdom Hearts 3 came out earlier this year. We've all played it. We've all loved it or really f***ing hated it. That's another topic in of itself right there. It was a pretty big release because it had been hyped up for the longest time. It was kind of like a legendary status game at that point because it had been in development itself for almost six years. Also, it had been 13 years since the last number title in the series, Kingdom Hearts 2, all the way back in 2006. You know, it was kind of a joke for a long time that there's so many other spinoffs for Kingdom Hearts that they'll never get to three and they can never count to three, you know, like with the Valve joke and stuff like that. It led to a lot of people kind of leaving the series, I think, because, you know, they kind of got frustrated um, with the story and how complicated it was getting and how many spinoffs were coming on. They were just like, can we just get Kingdom Hearts 3? But I think they came back with Kingdom Hearts 3 a little bit and it's still pretty well. But as all of you guys probably know at this point, Kingdom Hearts 3, of course, not the last Kingdom Hearts game, not by a long shot. They announced in the Kingdom Hearts 3 Ultimania that they are in development of the next Kingdom Hearts game. And all they had at that point was just the concepts and ideas, nothing really solid yet, but that was back in March. They are now much further in development now, and they're just wrapping up with Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind. And I think once they get that done, they're gonna start full development on this next Kingdom Hearts game. But it has recently been confirmed, and I think they've been kind of saying this over a couple of months too, that this next game is not going to be Kingdom Hearts 4. Namor said recently in an interview, I think, that he wants at least one more game to come out for Kingdom Hearts before Kingdom Hearts 4 comes out, or I guess the full start of the next saga of games. It's funny when I'm referring to the next Kingdom Hearts game in my uh, videos when I'm talking about it, I refer to it as Kingdom Hearts 4 or whatever the next Kingdom Hearts game is going to be. Kingdom Hearts 4 is kind of like a filler title, you know what I mean? I even put Kingdom Hearts 4 in a tweet talking about the next Kingdom Hearts game. It's just like, whatever, just put that in. And people got super mad at me that I said Kingdom Hearts 4. Kingdom Hearts 4 is not the next Kingdom Hearts game and they really wanted people to freaking know that. I don't know why it's that big a deal. It's just a kind of like a filler title. But anyways, yeah, moving on from that. Basic point is Kingdom Hearts 3, not the last Kingdom Hearts game, but before Kingdom Hearts 4 comes out, there will be at least one more spin-off game released in the series. But to test more specifically on the point of one more spin-off game before KH4, that right there is really concerning me for the future of Kingdom Hearts, the next game being a spin-off game. Let me explain. So, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, it was a joke in the gaming community for a very long time, and even in the Kingdom Hearts community a little bit too. There were so many spin-off games being released in the Kingdom Hearts series on all these portable consoles that Kingdom Hearts 3 will just never come out. They'll release spin-off games for the rest of the time. Of course, that's not true anymore because they released Kingdom Hearts 3. But for a while there, it didn't seem like it was going to happen, and even when it was announced, people were like, oh, this game's never ever going to come out. And it really did seem like that because the development took so long. It was just a big joke. And the reason it was such a big joke is because people don't like that. People don't like being strung along through all of these spin-off games on these portable consoles when all they wanted was just Kingdom Hearts 3. It does seem ridiculous to a hardcore Kingdom Hearts fan to want that because they need to build up some story, but casual fans, they just like want Kingdom Hearts 3 and it just got annoying. Back when Kingdom Hearts 2 came out, it was a much simpler series. There were just three games in the series, one, two, and Chain of Memories on the GBA, and you didn't even really have to play the GBA game to fully understand what was going on in 2. I mean, it did help a lot, but it wasn't life or death. I mean, I, Kingdom Hearts 2 was my first Kingdom Hearts game, and I understood it quite fine. A much, much simpler series. Wacky, yes, but not complicated. Not like God level complicated at that point. People were enjoying the story of what it was then and the gameplay and the characters and the weirdness of Disney being crossed over with Final Fantasy. That was kind of its main appeal. People naturally expected three to be next. They even teased something like that in the secret ending of two Final Mix. So people were like, okay, was this thing going to come out? And when time kept passing and it didn't come out and all of these other spin-off games kept coming out, like Days, Recoded, and Birth by Sleep, and people were just like, oh my god, I don't want to be strung along through all of these spin-off games on these portable consoles, having to buy all of this extra shit just to keep up with the Kingdom Hearts story, becoming a quite expensive endeavor before the remixes. So people are like, I'm done with this series. I can't do this anymore. So people just dropped it. And I was even one of those people. 
Yeah, I was one of those people making those jokes. I wouldn't call myself a hater necessarily. I was just kind of jaded. I was 10 at the time, I mean, of course, but just other things caught my interest. I'm like, Kingdom Hearts 3 is not coming out. I'm tired of waiting. Like, I, there's other things I want to do, so just drop it. So from like 2010 to 2013, when Kingdom Hearts 3 got announced, I did not care for Kingdom Hearts in the slightest. Even when Dream Drop Distance came out and I was looking at it, going at the GameStop, I was like, oh, this shit again. I understand it more now, of course, because I took the time to really get into it. But to a more casual fan of the Kingdom Hearts series, that's a big turnoff. And it's a big reason why a lot of people left the series. So with that context, when I see that another spin-off game is going to be coming out in the series before Kingdom Hearts 4 even comes out and the full start of the next saga, I'm just like, dude, what are you doing? This is not good. I mean, I'm a Kingdom Hearts fan. Of course I'll buy it and of course I'll be interested in it. But from what I can tell, a lot of the story is being based off what's going on in Union Cross. A mobile game. Blizzard response, you all, everyone has phones, don't they? I mean, I've played Kingdom Hearts Union Cross for quite a bit and I just like, I, I'm done with this. I can't play this anymore. All I know about the story is just through what story updates telling me, you know, on YouTube. This next saga is already more complicated enough because so reliant on this Union Cross thing right here. A lot of the stuff seems to be connected to the original saga as well, which is complicated in and of itself. So you're gonna add some more shit in there in another spinoff game to explain this fucking story. I'm like, come on. I'm even getting frustrated with it at this point. And I'm a big Kingdom Hearts fan. I'm like, what the fuck? Can you just keep the story simple and straightforward and not have all this complicated shit thrown in there and having all this other stuff that I have to do with this Union Cross bullshit mobile ass game that I have to keep up with. It's just so frustrating. And it's leading back to the situation that happened before. I mean, you didn't have to do all that stuff when going into Kingdom Hearts 1, did you? Of course not, because it wasn't a big grand thing at that point. There was no things you had to read up before and before playing it, you know? It was just a simple thing. It knew what it was, a crossover between Disney and Final Fantasy. That's all it was. It didn't try to be more than that, and it was great. That's why people loved it, and that's why people picked it up. And I know we have, it's a continuation of the Kingdom Hearts series as a whole, so, you know, Kingdom Hearts 4 is still got that, but it's still kind of signifying the start of the next chapter of it, start of a big new saga in it, and just it continuing on this path with the complicated story as it is, people are just gonna tune out. People who don't know Kingdom Hearts story that well, Oh, they're gonna be so fucking lost. People bought Kingdom Hearts 3, yes, despite the complicated story, but I think it's just gonna keep going to the point where if you're not a scholar in everything fucking Kingdom Hearts, it's just not gonna enjoy you anymore. I just wanted them to be like, okay, here's a clean slate, here's what we're doing, here's a somewhat good explanation of what's going on, and just leave it at that. But no, they can't do that. They gotta release another spin-off game. That little kid that was frustrated with Kim Hearts, that little kid's coming out right now because I'm just so frustrated. I guess it won't be as bad because Tetsuya Nomura seems like he has this story much more planned out. Who knows, maybe not. He didn't have a story going initially into the original Kingdom Hearts and he just kind of made it up as he went along. I think he's going to plan it out much more, which would be much better. But if we're already getting a spin-off game before Kingdom Hearts 4 comes out, What's that going to mean for the rest of the series? This is going to be another trend in the next saga as well. Now, I admit, I don't know what the next game is exactly going to be and the spinoff game is going to be. The only way I see it being satisfying is if it is a summary of the major points of the Kingdom Hearts Union Cross story. That's the only way I see this working. Put this game out as like a summary and put it on PS4, Xbox One, next PlayStation, next Xbox, whatever. Keep it on the main consoles that the main line series is on. Don't put it on the Switch. Don't do that shit because people won't play it then and people will just be complicated. Just Jesus Christ, man. Don't do it for some perceived hardware feature that you're going to exploit. Like they said with the PSP. Oh, we're going to take advantage of the online features, which they didn't really do. For story's sake, just put it on the mainline consoles and even make it a good game. Not make it like a big old messy movie like the back cover was. Then I think we got a deal. I guess another way that I guess it might work maybe is if they release like a standalone Varium Rex game and have it mostly be its own thing and not drench it so much in the Kingdom Hearts lore where you have to play it to understand the next game, you know what I mean? Just have it be its own little thing. They were doing a lot of teasing for something like that in Kingdom Hearts 3, so there's obviously some importance to that and they have some plans for them. Nomura also mentioned in like some update that he is going to have a third line for the Kingdom Hearts series and maybe that's what he's referring to, just have this very Rex thing go alongside it and have it to be its own little thing, I don't know. Maybe that's what they could do and not round it in the Kingdom Hearts lore until it forces it to be a necessary part of the next saga. That's how I see it working, but only them. Tetsuo Nomura is kind of a semi-similar situation that he was in Kingdom Hearts 2 because he is also the main director 
behind Final Fantasy VII Remake, which, yes, that game's almost out. It's coming out in April, but that's just part one of the game, baby. That's just the first half of the game. They'll have to develop the rest of the game afterwards because it's so big. Since he's very busy with that, can't really get pull his full attention onto Kingdom Hearts. This affects the Kingdom Hearts series so much when he puts his priorities into so many other different places. I just don't want him to be put in a similar situation that we were with Final Fantasy Versus 13, where we have to wait so fucking long. I hope that's not going to happen, though. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see with this next Kingdom Hearts game and what exactly it's going to be. We don't know what the next saga is going to be at all. They are not really clear on that. All we know is that it's just Union Cross is connecting to it. I could be completely wrong on all this stuff, and it could be proven to be, like, the best thing the Has series has ever done, and, you know, just all the great stuff. It could be like that. But... When I hear the word spinoff used in the context of Kingdom Hearts, I get some bad memories of being frustrated. And if they're going down a similar route with this one, adding a bunch of different story stuff in it to make it so multi-layered and godlike, then I think many people are just going to start saying, this is it for me. I think that's going to be the last draw for a lot of people. A lot of people start to leave, sales go down, and it could be harder to justify continuing making more Kingdom Hearts games, at least big ones, just keeps on going and keeps on just adding more stuff. Again, this is just my view. You can think of whatever you want, but just understand where I'm coming from on this and how why it scares me, because I want the Kingdom Hearts series to continue. I really do. I love the series. I love it so much. I love the story, despite how complicated it is. It's freaking ridiculous, but that's why I love it so much. But it needs to do it in the right way and make it where it could be appealing to a lot of people still. Maybe it'll sell on just the Disney part alone. I don't know. I hope it doesn't end up like this. I hope people don't drop it because of that. But knowing what happened before, it could, it could lead to a lot of bad things. But anyways, yeah, that is mostly my concerns and, um, you know, kind of worries with the next saga of Kingdom Hearts games. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys listened to what I had to say. Tell me down in the comments below what you think about this. Are you fine with this game being another spinoff game or are you frustrated? as well so i'm really interested to see what you guys have to say tell me down in the comments below your opinion also make sure to subscribe and like this video follow me on twitter and join my discord server because that'd be really awesome if you did this is McKay central and i will see you guys in the next video whatever that's gonna be so yeah bye bye